Uh, Article 30 of the uh, G20 Leaders' Declaration speaks of delivering quality education. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi said, and I paraphrase, that if you educate a man, you educate an individual. If you educate a woman, you educate a family. The UK is certainly doing as much as it can to ensure that those who need education across the globe receive it, especially girls and women. Could the Prime Minister give an assurance that the UK will do all it possibly can to ensure that the other members of the G20, including new member the African Union, do their bit to ensure that the girls and women in their countries and across the world are educated? Well, Mr. Speaker, it was, uh, it was a privilege to visit Raj Garth and pay tribute to Gandhiji's work. My honourable friend, friend is absolutely right to highlight the importance of equality and access to women's education. I was very pleased that Prime Minister Modi made this actually a central theme of the G20 summit, so it's something we discussed. And in this House, we should all be proud of the UK's contribution, where over the last several years we've helped educate over 8 million girls as part of our development priority to provide all girls with 12 years of high-quality education. Thank you, 